Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, my name is Jessica. Today I am going to do a flip through of my first French document journal and I am planning to make a whole collection of these but I'm not sure when or how long it's going to take so I at least wanted to do a really detailed flip through of this first one. It was super fun to make and I love how it turned out. So I do just have it wrapped in some lace, which is how I will send it off whenever I sell it. And then we have this removable charm, which I did make a detailed tutorial showing you how I made this. So tons of like noise and bells and I love that. I am going to remove it. Well, I'll do that in just a sec. And we'll go ahead and remove the lace closure here. Again, that's just kind of all for presentation. And then this is what it, it looks like without that on. I kind of like to show it like with the tassel. And so you can see it's removable just by a paper clip and I just had it clipped on the front here. But you can put it on any page you want kind of as a bookmark or whatever. And so we have this journal topper that I also have been loving making these journal toppers and I actually made this one a pocket. So you have this sewn tag here with some French book page on the back and that just slides in and it has a little bird charm clipped on there. And then you have this other little sewn embellishment down here. And then the center just has a little bead dangle right there. So let's get started. There's a lots of lace in here and this is vintage wallpaper as the cover. It is just one signature, but all of the lace is vintage in here and I love that so much. So you have a side pocket and right now I don't have anything in here. This is pretty stuffed for a one signature journal and I just really want the recipient to have room to add their own Thing. So this is a nice long pocket, which would be great to add pictures, tags, whatever you want. And we have a pocket in here lined with more vintage lace. And this is just a simple little journal card with a cute little key, um, a little key embellishment there. We got a glassine bag with a little embellishment here, just a vintage or just a coffee dyed guest check in there. And then this page right here, again, the vintage lace. I have I don't usually point out the lace on each page, but these laces are so pretty. Oh, I should also say I left all of the excess strings from sewing because each page has sewing detail. I like that, but if you don't, you can simply just trim that off. But I love the final look with all of the threads. So in here, I do have a smaller journal topper. And so obviously you can still use this as just a journal card and you could do some journaling on the back. And I love how, so I have a clear adhesive pocket here and I love how this has a little like label right there. You could put whatever you want in here, but then when you take everything out, you can still see the really pretty page. And this journal like has so much space for journaling. I mean, honestly, I love how it's super long. In fact, I didn't give you the measurements. Uh, I will do that. So in this top loading pocket, I just have an embossed guest check with some trim at the top. I'm guessing it's like three and a half inches by nine. I'll have the measurements like on the listing and then really pretty paper here you have a doily with some stamping it's coffee dyed you have a french magazine page here this is the really pretty lace on this page you have a little embellishment that i sewed on so you could tuck something in here if you want this page just has a little lace tab and then this side pocket, I just put a vintage receipt in there. The next page, you have some space for journaling. And then I have a floating pocket clipped on here. And so basically you can put this wherever you want in the journal and it has this gorgeous 
um, lace fabric sewn over journaling card with just a little embellishment. And then I have this altered time card. And so we have some French book pages, piano paper, and then just some more vintage lace. And then that just tucks back right in there. So I just clip that on and you have coffee dyed paper in the back. You have a double pocket here. And this is uh this is a printable from oh gosh, maybe Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, and I made this really fun scrappy notepad with all kinds of papers. You have this little Paris journaling card, a little Tim Holtz um, card. And what you can do is you could add things to all of the pages, like little pictures. You could use it for journaling or you could rip things off and use them in your journaling. So you have printables that are French themed actual French book pages, coffee dyed paper, this really cool um, vintage piano paper, and then just some really pretty cardstock. And if you haven't seen yet, I also have a video showing you a bunch of the things that I made in here. So you can check that out. We have coffee dyed paper, more space for journaling, and then a really cute little like Rolodex card. We have a tab sewn on here. Some of these pages are just so pretty that I just had to make it into a pocket so that you can decide what to do with it. We have that French magazine paper again, and there's a little lace pocket. Love these laces so much. This is a top loading pocket. So, I mean, it's so long, you could really put a lot of you could put something with a lot of space in here. And here's this lace. And then you have the other side of that glassine bag. And I made a really cool little tab with a gorgeous charm on here. And it kind of peeks out of the journal as well. And then I made this sewn embellished tag, also lined with French book page and then back here you have another pocket this wallpaper is two pieces of wallpaper back to back but again you have that pocket on the side so you can really fit a lot in here still and then we have a little embossed um, library card with just a stamped or sorry, library pocket. And then you have the library card with a little bit of lace and embellishing on there. So these were really fun to make, or I should say this was really fun to make. Can't wait to make more. And if I am making a collection, then just be on the lookout. You will find it here on my channel first. Or if you're a Patreon member, just be on the lookout because I will post about it in there as well. I just love all of the things that hang out the sides here. I can't wait to make more of these. So I am gonna go ahead and add this charm back and I can just show you what that's gonna look like if you wanna put it maybe on like a center page as a little bookmark. So you can go ahead and clip it on and then just, you'll bring it over to the center as much as you can. And then when you close it, you will have the charm hanging at just the perfect spot. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for checking out this flip through and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.